This is all of a raid. <laughs> Bloody hell. Alcohol. Oh my god, I thought this was gonna be a quite. Funny thing is, people are gonna think I'm acting. Yep. People are gonna think I'm acting. I actually mm. did have some alcohol right there. Some what? Alcohol. Yeah, of course. It's three. Um, Ian was asking me if my accent is normally like this, and it is. Um, when I'm around people, when I'm around people who speak American English with American accent, they speak like them. In fact, it's quite confusing, actually, because when I speak to people from Ireland, they start speaking like I'm Irish. I just take it from people who are around me. Sorry, I'm occupying Ian's video that space. Was a good video. Which one? What you were just saying. Oh. All right. Okay. I'll, I'll continue then. Um, I believe that the two most destructive forces in society right now are alcohol and entertainment. Mm. I believe that uh, alcohol, because it, it, not. To everyone, but it removes the filters that keep us able to operate in society. And entertainment, because it, it robs life of relevance. It drowns everything in irrelevance. <laughs> what? For fuck's sake. So wait, do you actually agree with that? I don't think that, that was quite what you said, but I, I think, yes, I, I do. Um, and I need more alcohol so I can continue speaking about how alcohol was evil. Dude, alcohol. Alcohol. And, uh, see, I'm a bit of an alcoholic. But I've learned that... Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've learned that, um, I can get drunk on an occasion, and I think it's worth it for this video. Mm. <sighs> I drink that fast. Sorry? Well, it's just that uh, I don't drink because I'll enjoy the taste of it. I, I think it's quite... I mean, a little bit more... I like wine. You like it's wine? Like grapes. Grapes, yes. All those Romans stepping on grapes and huge vats. Oh, shit, I, I need to wait. Oh, no, I'm not going to wait. I'm going to have a little bit more. Seep it out. Enjoy that. All right. Mm. Okay, the first thing I want to say... And this is probably turning people away because they, they log into your channel to hear you, not me. Um, I don't know, dude. I think they like the dynamic. Oh, Some of them might. Yeah. But you get... Oh, shit, this fucking hitting. You, you get... What? Oh, yeah, hi. Going, right? Hello, camera. Um... Yeah. I, I wanted to say that... Uh, what was... What did you just say a second ago? Well, I can't remember that for. Wondering if you really thought... Oh, I hope it didn't... Okay. If you thought about alcohol and entertainment? Right, alcohol and entertainment. This is the thing. The alcohol doses and... But I don't really believe that it can be used as an excuse for everything. I've seen people... I've seen people get drunk and do the most outrageous things. And then they blame it on the alcohol. But the truth is that if they did it because they were drunk, then they wanted to do it in the beginning, anyway. And, um, they wanted to do it all along, they just needed an excuse. There's nothing I would do drunk that I wouldn't do sober. Uh, also, I find, okay, that's the part the, about the alcohol. The entertainment is like this. Have you ever scanned for the news? Have you ever try, tried to find anything relevant in the news? Do you realize how much crap you have to sift through on Britney Spears and uh, Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie? Who the fuck gives a shit about that shit? Mm -hmm. Not you. I don't. Um, I thought, uh, <laughs> it was real blatant, I went. Um, the, the news? I, I agree. I don't remember. I was thinking of something. Yeah, a thought just escapes like teardrops on the rain, in the rain. What, what was I thinking? Oh my god, it's really fucking hitting me. I got a lot going on. Do you? Yeah, dude. <laughs> You're sweating, man. Oh, Is this sweating. a jacket? 
No, it's just uh, holy oh, shit! I'm holding myself together. Yeah. Oh, I got some water. And... Look, I'm I'm honestly drunk. I'm not acting. It's awesome, dude. Well, why why is that awesome? So you can get drunk that fast. Like you well, feel good. You feel like I do feel good. It's not good for my liver. Um. Probably not if you did it every day, but... I'm gonna take one more shot with I Seriously, should not. Yeah. Okay. Fill it up for me. Enjoy the No, taste. don't fill it up. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah. Right. It tastes really good. I They're my childhood heroes, Captain Haddock. Grapes, dude. I don't... Do you shoot why? Shoot it like that? Oh, it's alcohol. I should like the taste. Why? Why would anybody care about the taste of alcohol? It's fruity. Fruity. Well, yeah. Like, ooh, fruity. <laughs> Um, I kind of uh, like, uh... But, yes? Uh... What's the, the alcohol? Uh... <laughs> it's a kind of liquor. It's pretty good, um... Whiskey. Whiskey, yes! Okay, that like Whiskey wood. and rye, uh, This should be the day that I die. Yeah, what I like is that it's two ninety nine for a bottle. Who <laughs> are you kidding me? Oh, man. Uh, of what? Of wine. The wine, right? See, so, you, know, you guys missed out on a great opportunity because you know, it doesn't have any any weight. Otherwise, this video would be a drunken stone. Yeah, we should do that. We we'll do that sometime. Yeah, Compare the effects. Resin. You want me to smoke some resin? Uh, what? Get a little, get a little buzz, and then maybe do a video. Um, we are doing a video. Or another, like, second part. I don't want to smoke it on. No. I we're not going to do it. Dude, I'll smoke the resin. The thing is that the alcohol is going to take away the uh, effect of the smoking the resin. See, it's going to... Just wait until you get weed. I don't think I can deal more than more than this. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm absolutely sure. Uh, put down the crack pipe. Yes, All right. All right. <laughs> this one goes for the... Okay, I, I, I want to ask you comment here the you the grandson of Lee Marvin the great Lee Marvin cat blue point blank uh, paint your wagon okay if a person who knows no will comes to a palais de dance and dances around the place any more wine because I mean, he dances around the place and twirls his ears up in the air because he's a Celt. Why should he come down and hug you and forgive yourself because he's a better dancer? So, my question is... Uh, <sighs> Part of the question is so you automatically forgive yourself? That's, oh, Ben's back is pretty cool. I'm sorry, can you s repeat the question, please? Oh, um, I'm quite paying attention. So, like, forgiving yourself is, is a given? Like, you, uh, you forgive yourself that he's a better dancer. Maybe, maybe they understood the question. And I this didn't. question is a philosophical riddle. It's kind of like, like the man who was here last week who has had his spine compressed in three places. Do you think. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I got things mixed up. Um, this is the question. Then. Um, <laughs> um, the, it's a philosophical question. And when people are going to say I'm a bore, and they're going to say they need to leave. Um, you said philosophical question. So maybe yeah, you see, this is the question. This is a philosophical question about the uh, validity of individual um, expression rights. If you need to live your life for yourself or for the for others, the appraise you see, like in your case, for example, let's, let's you use you use you as an example. Um, you want to live your life, and you want to make those YouTube videos. Do you have to please absolutely everybody out there? No, that's exactly the same thing. Right. Ultimately. The public opinion doesn't mean as much because uh, maybe I should have a little bit more because I'm still really yeah maybe I should too <laughs> of oh, this yes cheers Mike yes so do you have like a British English accent I Please. was yeah I I learn English in Germany so oh, you're holding your head here I'm sorry I'm holding a cork oh yeah cork not. <laughs> <laughs>
so I'm not holding my plunker. I'm having to put my plunker on the table. And those stupid women's lovers would come over and knock it over. Okay, so you don't have to please everyone, but if if you're a better dancer than the guy who comes in and dances... Yeah, you're the better dancer, you see. No way, he's the better dancer, actually, because he can throw his gears up in the air. Cause he's a natural for it. You have to work for it. He's got it naturally. Yeah. So, he doesn't have to come down... He's a good dancer. He doesn't have to come down to you and, and, and pay tribute to you. Make you feel all special. Oh, you're so nice. And you oh, look, Mr. Dancer. No, it's just... It's just that he's got his set of talents. And you got your set of talents. And... And you have to go with what you have. You have to live your life for yourself, regardless of the public opinion, because if not, then you're living your life for others. And there is no such thing as others. Each person is an individual. Right? You're living your life. Like, like you're, you're living your life on YouTube, and you say things like... Why am I not quite over the edge yet? Maybe wine isn't yeah. quite there. Uh, no, no, no. People have this thing. <laughs> Alright, good thing it's... It's wine! Wine is really good. Dude, sometimes I drink almost a whole bottle of wine in one night. Uh, sometimes. Alcohol, there we go, and up. Alcohol. And entertainment. Ah, oh, you should have seen the Daxters. Reply, video response to alcohol entertainment. Really? Beautiful, Tom, absolutely amazing. I know, would you, Thomas, do you make all your videos? Would you make them all public again, man? Oh, man, I'd love that more than anything. See, this, this is the thing about Thomas, and I can't hide this because I'm drunk. And I guess that contradicts what I've said before. No, it doesn't. Yeah, I would say this sober. He had something about him that was pure... Honesty. Thomas is about honesty and truth and seeking logic. And, 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 and like he's like the most intelligent person I've ever met in my life. I can't tell him that because he's got his ego inflated. But I've never quite met anybody like him. It's like I connected with He made this one video called A Walk About Happiness. Have you ever seen that? Uh, maybe. He was walking around Sweden. The ground was covered with snow. It was amazing. I thought, wow, wow. If everybody was like him, I, I might even start crying here, but if, if everybody had the depth of emotion and sensitivity that Thomas had, wow, what a world we live in. And it's like, I, I can't really say this. He's, he's my best friend on, on the internet, you know. I mean, you're, you're a real person. But on the internet, it's like he's—he's he's my best friend. He's—he's—he's he's, he's quite amazing to listen to. Uh, he, everything he says is very interesting. And you said he wants to make the—he—he he wants. He's—you told me once he made you a video response. It was so boring. <laughs> yeah. That you didn't even it was, watch. It was the first one. Right, but you, you should have paid attention to his words. See, see, you're making a, you're making a mistake. You're listening, you're listening for, for the style. And Thomas is all about substance. If you could let that into your life. Okay, at the time I was getting a lot of video responses. So like, I remember the Darkener, and the Daxter, who mm, was uh, similar uh, names, sort of. Uh, Jared, God, it's not Jared. It's uh, 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 <laughs> the Darkener, dude. Uh, Jordan, right. Jordan. Sorry, Jordan. I, which I haven't talked to you in a while, if you're still around. Or, but, and so Jordan, the, the Darkener and the Daxter, similar names. So I was like, okay, so I equated them. And I, like, I remember like Jordan made a video response that was very in interesting. And I was like, okay, the Darkener. And then the Daxter made a video response, and it was very boring. I'm sorry, Thomas, for whatever reason, at that time in my life, you were like sick in bed, and you were like... <laughs> and I like watched... And you know what? Most oh, of for fuck's <laughs> sake! And then I, the and then, irony! Then the viciousness came, and I was like, ah! And then, after all that time, we're like still like talking, or hanging out, or whatever. If anybody thinks I'm still acting about this drunkenness thing, they're inside. Dude, Thomas, dude. Okay, here's the thing. Here's the irony. 
his video was about his video response was to your video about alcohol and entertainment that was the one that's the one that was his very first video response Nobody makes videos like the Dexter. Dexter. I thought he was like taller when he made the video. Not that he's not tall. Like I don't think he's short, mm. but like I thought he was like six mm. two. I and, think like, this other guy who made a video response. He needs to lose some weight to feel healthier, but he really is. Yeah, he's not very. He he's he seems tall to me. I mean, he's the the the, the, the interesting thing about him is just how intelligent he is. You know, you can talk to him about everything. And I love imitating him. Uh, I mean, there's the, these video parodies of him I did. Have you... Did you ever watch the video parodies I've made of you? Where I imitated you? Those those, those were the days. It was back when you were in your heyday. YouTube had just started. And... Uh, no, YouTube hadn't just fucking started. Silly. I had, been, I had just somewhat started. And people looked at me because my parodies of you were hilarious. But I also parodied him. To be on the safe side. To so make sure that, you know, that I was on... But it all because you know I really did admire him. Um, I parry him. There's this one video where he says, "Yeah, I'm I'm on, I'm on to try and paraphrase it because I'm fully drunk." And I was like, "Hi, do you? I, I'm sorry. Hi, are you the kind of person who says, oh, uh, if you don't like that person, don't watch their videos?'" Um, do you realize that what you're advocating is choice? You have the choice to not watch the video. Do you realize that you also have the choice to watch the video and post comments to it and make video responses? Do you realize that? Hmm? Well, this has been now a sponsor message for the day. Now I'll let you get back to your lives. Oh man. Fuck, the world is missing out on having these Dexter videos out there. Yeah. He's absolutely fantastic. I have never, ever met anybody as compelling as him. He's just so real. Everything, there's no bullshit about that guy. I hate the fucking friendly geek, but he was right. Oh, shit. If just for a moment it froze with you with your finger in the air, that was cool. Yeah. Nice, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so... The Friendly Geek? Yeah, The Friendly Geek made this video. Say, ah, shit. I'm still kind of drunk, but drunkness is going away. I don't stay drunk very long. I stay... Why? I was wondering, why do you think everyone equated me and Thomas? This is something you never noticed. You, you, you should have noticed this. But you didn't realize it at the time. Thomas is your polar opposite in the YouTube universe. If you take YouTube as a microcosm... Nitro, not microcosm. He is the other side of you. And he should have been your best friend on YouTube. This man is just... I wouldn't be surprised if he had a fucking IQ of 200. I, like, I, I talk to him. And he's just a normal person to me. But he always finds the right thing to say. It's just amazing. Thomas? Yeah. I bet he, I'm checking to see if he's online right now. Dude, I want to do a video of the three of us. It's not going to happen. Why not? He's around. Unfortunately, you see, because he's the opposite of you, he figures this is a communication issue. What is? Between you and him. So he figures that? Yes. Are you assuming that? No, 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 no. He... He thinks you don't listen, and, uh, and to a certain degree, you know, he's correct. Well, I mean, as much as I don't listen to my f friends, <laughs> any of my friends, I was going to say. He don't realize that that's the problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck you. You know, you have that the whole, like, I don't know how you describe it, but, like, with friends, you know, you, you spend eight years, like, not really listening to each other, like, hanging out, but yet, like, always <laughs> missing something. A, okay, I'm going to try to say, for a while, the alcohol is so... It makes me so distracted. It's hard to pay attention. Uh, but he could be your yeah. friend. But the problem is, you don't listen to people. Me? Yeah, you don't. You don't. I can I just? I think I'm not supposed to. Have more alcohol. I think that you need to let the honesty flow. Let's see the first time you actually 
be completely honest because I I, I don't think marijuana uh, I don't think the weed would do that. Uh, I think only alcohol can do that. Alcohol, dude. I don't give a fuck, Christian. About what? About anything, man. Well, you want to know? I mean, what do you want to know? Why I don't listen? Or if I don't listen? Well, see, this this is just a problem. Uh, start well, talking, I get angry. What's the problem? Are you getting angry? When I start talking a lot, I start to get angry. Or maybe it's what I'm talking oh. about. This. You know, this people, some people have that problem with coffee. Oh, I'd love to get some coffee right now. Why? Wow. For coffee? No, coffee. You know what a coffee would do? Espresso? Coffee was sh nah. Shut off the you effect. Sure, man? You maybe go to Shut the effect of Fred the coffee. Fred 62s, get some coffee, maybe some avocado. Yo, insane if you think I'll get in a car with you drunk or me drunk. A man. great idea, actually. Hey, okay, let's talk about this for a second. I I'm sorry, I I it just occurred to me that alcohol compresses time. How so? Because. Why have I talked about in the last 10 minutes? It was about Thomas, right? Mm hmm. Why would I talk about, about that, that for 10 minutes? It was unless I can't perceive the passage of time. Maybe. Do you care? A little bit because. Holy shit, I have been talking about him for the last 10 minutes. Like the 20 some minutes, probably. Uh, yeah. But why do you. Do you care? Like, do you. Does it, like, is it the alcohol or is it your lack of caring that it's 20 minutes? Okay, um, it, it oh. depends. Oh, wait, wait a second, how drunk are you? I'm getting there. Getting there? Oh, shit. If you're like that when you're Still getting there. Getting there. I wrote a song called Getting There. Oh, um, cool. What was it about? I can, like, Barack Obama. <laughs> um, I can uh, drink a lot yeah. and still be sober. It's really weird. Or I can get really drunk really fast. You actually believe you have a control over this? Yeah. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Um, that's why I, I, I stay away from alcohol except on Sundays. That's my day off. Hmm. Yeah, that's powerful. Why don't you tell the nice people of YouTube? So, someone said alcohol was the worst kind of drug. Literally. It's one of the worst. Yeah, I don't know, because, you know, there's a lot of bad drugs, I heard. Oh, man. But because it's legal. So all factors assumed alcohol is the worst drug. You know, marijuana is only illegal because of racism, right? Racism? Yeah. I thought it was because they wanted to sell trees instead of... Well, yeah. it started off with racism. It started off racism against the Indians who smoked it. And then the Chinese who came over here from Canton... Pops thing. Um, the, chi the Chinese came over to work on the railroad and they smoked opium to chill out. Unfortunately, that made it so that they worked for less hours. Railroad owners didn't like that, so they made opium illegal. Then they realized that the Negroes were the slaves, that's what they called it, slaves, they called them Negroes, were smoking weed and the Mexicans were smoking weed. And then they realized that they were turning in less labor. So, as a force, I mean, uh, 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 to force them to work longer hours, they made weed, weed illegal. And nowadays, of course, there's more reasons because, you know, you could use weed. I mean, some people would say that weed is still illegal because you can use weed to make just about anything, paper and fibers and ropes and clothes and stuff, and that would compete with the legitimate industries. Oh, there it goes again. Yeah, weed, dude. Weed is actually fine. The problem with the weed, of course, it leads to the Crossmac complex. I want to smoke right now. Sm uh, co I mean, Crossmac. Cross smoke syndrome. Mac, dude? I should make Smoke Mac the new <laughs> <laughs> The Crossmac smoke syndrome. Smoke Mac. You know what a cross mic syndrome is? When you when your head is so addled by weed that you can't think straight? And then you say crazy things. But it's not just that. It, you know why you say crazy things in weed? Because you're stoned? It's not just because you're stoned. It's because you have no energy to do anything else but talk. That is true. You're that is sitting back. So true. And you're not really doing much other than talking bullshit. You know, you talk about what can be done. And then you talk about what could be done after that gets done, but you haven't done the thing, so you don't know what's going to change when you do the thing that might change for the next part of it. And you build these equations 
on like fallacies, they become fallacies because you don't know the result of the first part of the equation yet, you know? Like life is more simple, like real non stoned life, like you actually do thing by thing and, and it's like, yeah, you get hurt sometimes before you get to do the next step. Man, I am so fucking out there. Weed? Talk about weed. I love that we can drink on camera and there's absolutely no problem. None. No, at zero sociological implication. Nothing. No one will get angry. No one will come after us. Yeah. A tea. This tea has been in this cup wonderful? for like two and a half days. Wouldn't it be wonderful if weed had no stigma attached to it? Yeah. I think the first people to give a problem for weed are the actual stoners. They love weed, and that's fine. But when they start trying to make people think that George Washington smoked weed, dude, I think... Dude, look at the dollar bill, dude. He smoked so much pot, dude. His eyes, dude. If you look at a stoner's eyes and you look at George Washington's eyes, it's stoner. He's a stoner, dude. He would probably get stoned and go into combat. And he was so zen because of the weed that he would survive. I'm sure of it. I'm 99 point something percent. Dude... I love it too. Jefferson, dude, he's a musician. Jefferson. Fucked a bunch of women. He fucked a bunch of women. Jefferson, dude. Man. He's got his slaves pregnant. Slavery. I mean, women, slavery dude. of women. Is that the only way? Those bitches, dude. I, Just to have a harem? Well, nah. If you're an American co conspirator. Now you can be a rock star and have a harem of groupies. I think that's a bad idea. That's why I've been so afraid of doing it. Being a rock star? Uh huh. Oh yeah, you're not a hot rock star because you're afraid of doing it. I didn't think about that. I'm afraid of, yeah, dude, of, of having all the women. I'm afraid of like of of reproducing all these things that all the other. And they're like, any great man has a bunch of women. I'm like, why? Not really. No, you only need one. That's what I thought. You need the perfect woman, then you don't need any more women. You're done with it. Well, that's what I thought, but history dictates otherwise, right? It's not history that dictates otherwise. It's um. The perfect woman, dude. Biological impulse. If I get the perfect woman, dude... On competition. Uns I'd be unstoppable. I don't know how to, how to... I just need the perfect woman, dude. I need to find her. I need to get her, dude. Maybe she'll find you. Maybe she will. If you're the perfect woman, give me a ring. <laughs> give me a message. Give me a notice. Give me, give me something, man. He has to be I the perfect, perfect woman for him. The perfect woman for me. I don't know who I'm pleading to. God or... I just need the woman, dude. If I got the woman, then I wouldn't have to worry about all the women, because I'm like, ah. Oh, what I don't know, dude. Do you know, what? Do, do, having a kid, like, do you talk about this? Is that, do, you, do you find that having a kid makes you a better man? I would think so, yes. I think it makes you spiritually mature. Well, yes, I am just so fucking mature. Yeah, well, it makes you spiritually mature, regardless of what people see on YouTube. Because ultimately, what people are seeing on YouTube doesn't really matter, does it? It's all about video. Dude, video can only get you so far. You can only see it so much of your life. I can't see the whole picture. Nobody knows what we're uncrossing this. They see the video. Let's see you say wild and seemingly insane things. There's another thing I'd like to talk about. I, I'm... I think I'm a little worried about people who don't don't understand our friendship. They see me making fun of you in some videos, not making fun totally of you, but of some things that you say. And then they take that to mean that I'm making fun of you, and then they think I'm your enemy or something. That's ridiculous. Tom, well, Thomas thought you were making fun of me that one time, but mm. hard he to thinks tell, dude. he thinks I feed you weird shit. Because then you say something entertaining. Yeah. And I mean, there, there have been occasions when this is true, but I, I have made sure that you need that. And um, But then again, do you care what people think? I care what he thinks. Why? And I care what you think. Why? Why? Because this is, this is, a, this is a, there are people who have some value to you, you know, to you or to me. Or, uh, and, and those people, you do want to care what they think. Are you sure? Yes, I... And that's because they're a value to you. Value? Yeah. They, they, spiritual? Value. Yeah, spiritual value. They're, they're, no, not financially. Well, financially, you know, these things change all the time. Do they? They do have a value. Yeah. 
And I think... <laughs> I think, I mean, even somebody like the commentator, we never met. We're not going to know. Soon. No, I don't think so. I don't think we're ever going to know his real name. Rick, dude? Yeah, I don't think we're ever going to know... Rick the... Astley, dude? <laughs> He's not Rick Astley. I think it is. Uh, I don't even know if he really is Lee Marvin's grandson. I think he is Lee Marvin's grandson, Rick Astley. <laughs> Maybe he's Hop Sing, their next generation. I think he is, dude. I think he's Hop Sing's son. Mm. Who is Hop Sing? It's a Chinese dude. What does he do? Um, he was an actor on the TV show Bonanza from back when I was, you know, uh, a teenager in the sixties. <laughs> <laughs> and anyway, um, gosh, Hop I was thinking. Sing, dude. I'm thinking today about how, how how the world is going to be revolutionized when they stop the aging process. Mm. I don't think it's going to be good for you, though. What did that have to do with me? Not for you specifically, because you just used that ex as an excuse for be a kid all your life. Oh, I would if I could. I mean, uh, I would stay like 35 or something, but it doesn't matter. You mean like you mean like program computer brains or like just slow down the genes? Well, no, no, no. I'm actually talking spinning. about figuring out a way of making people never aging again. It's possible. Like once you hit eighteen or twenty twenty five or something, you. No, I think. I think this is what I think. Okay. That'd be weird. If we make it to seventy. Maybe by then they have figured out how to stop aging. And they'll make the cure, I mean, the cure to aging available to people. And then maybe, maybe people will live so long that they'll be able to figure out everything that ails man mankind. From cancer to the common cold and back again. And aging in between. And so, at that point, they can stop aging. Let's say this will happen... 40 years from now, 50 years from now, 30 years. And then, and then what happens? If we stop aging long enough, they'll find out a way of making us reverse aging. And then we have to reverse our ages all the way down to maybe 25. When everybody's 25. And then if they apply the stop aging thing again, and everybody just lives forever. The thing is, I think part of healing is aging. So what? So, like, if you get sick and you're not aging, you'll die. Instantly. They're not gonna have any of that. They're not. They will. They will put out. They will put out well, cures for all illnesses. Because you're living long enough, you'll find the cure. You devote devote your life to one thing. Uh, if you devote your life to one thing, a doctor devotes their lives their lives to, to fixing one ailment. They'll figure out if because they can live suddenly. They can live for five hundred years. And they'll figure it out. So how do you decide who gets to live that long? Oh, you know how it works. It'll be just like everything else. Money? First the government, then private sector, well, and the money. rich, and then suddenly everybody cheapens the cost. So that's what they did with the CD. I hear the CD was actually invented in 1973. Really? Yeah. The money, dude. The money. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so first all the central bankers get unlimited life? So the Roth, yeah. what's his name? Uh, Rockefellers? R no, Rothschild. No, Rothschild. Uh, is it Jared Rothschild? Yeah, maybe. I don't he know. gets to live, so no, no more sons, or he has. So then you have sons, and then they become your age, and they live like your 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 com compatriot. You keep them like a year younger, so you're still the dominant one. I don't think that they would have that much control over it. I seriously believe that if you live long enough, you can and. Depending on how you are, you can even forget who your parents are. And maybe maybe 5,000 years down the line, you're marrying your sister and you don't even know. God, the problem is like 200 years will go by and you'll be have like this one grudge from 200 years ago that are affecting all the people. Really? I'm interested in hearing about that. Yeah. How long can you hold a grudge for? As long as you want. Like until someone changes your mind and you realize it's a grudge or someone convinces you to... I hope you realize you're someone cleaning your nose in public here. Mm -hmm. the camera. <laughs> Dude, sometimes yes. you just gotta clear the pipes. So, whatever. We gotta edit this video, dude. No, I think we should keep it going just as it is. It's gotta be thirty-five plus minutes, right? 
Uh, Who's gonna watch this? this? <laughs> if you watch all the way through this, I commend you. You should be in our videos. You, you should be in our videos. If you've watched it this far, you should be someone that makes videos with us. Let's hear one of those decompo decomposing fruit people. <laughs> There's no way. We, we should edit it and pick up the highlights of this video. Ah, uh, do you realize shit. how much fucking work there would be? No, just put yeah, it out there. Yeah, just keep the work. honesty out there. All this video? All this video. It's been so... I'm I don't totally care. Do it, man. I give no fuck, dude. That'd no, be that's awesome. it. What else? Decomposing fruit What is that, people? decomposing fruit people? Do you remember when we were talking about gay people? <laughs> and we were laughing about the way how they have sex and... And he said that he wouldn't fuck at the pile of the composing fruit either because right. the anal sex is like that. What about all the women? And, I mean, in porn. I mean, they have anal sex. Isn't that like the fucking a pile of the composing fruit as well? Their ass? Yeah. Yeah, kind of. Huh? Ugh. Uh, <laughs> that's absolutely ridiculous. You know, I, I once read this person posted Dude, something nice. about chickens. Yeah. I should get that now. Why you keep talking about the chickens? Okay, you go on and I'll talk hey about man. the chickens. This person Dude, did hey not man. know how an egg was fertilized. A chicken egg. Else. And he actually thought that the chicken would lay the egg and the rooster would jerk off and come all over the egg. You know, it's around this, this part of the video that I realize... That it's gone on too long. Awesome. <laughs> what about? Ooh. We gotta find the first paw print. That's the first clue. You put it in your notebook. And then what do we do? Blues, clues, blues, clues. Sit down in a thinking chair and think. 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 Because when you use your minds, take a step at a time. You can do anything that you want to do. Dun, dun. It's been nice. Say bye oh, to the nice wow. YouTube people. See you guys. Cheers.